So here I am, sitting all sad and kind of lonely, with my sunglasses on, on my zero light, zero brightness screen here, and I've decided I need to brighten up my life a little bit. I need to try to do something crazy, and I figured, let's go to a water park, guys. Let's play freaking shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let, let's have some continues here. We're going to play Himps today. And what I want to do is I want to try to beat a water park here while only using two platforms. This one here and this one over here. I have no idea how impossible this is going to be. Uh, it's going to be quite the journey right from the get-go, but, you know, maybe we'll just have a wicked chance here. So the first question is, what the heck do we start off with? And I'll be honest... I have no idea. Um, you know, normally I'd go for a Dart Monkey Sniper start, so let's see if that can magically do something. All right, come on, Dart Monkey Sniper. All right, Sniper doing a great job here. Dart Monkey gonna do some cleaning up action, and beautiful, looks like we will beat round six, I think. Hopefully, yes. Believe it or not, it, it this may actually be the toughest rounds in the game. Six, seven, eight, nine. How could we get started in here while using the most terrible spots ever? All right, so Sniper on strong. Sniper on first. First, 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 first. Um, mm. Okay, I don't think any amount of targeting is going to fix that. Let's try a completely different strategy. Let's try a Druid. Okay, I don't, I don't like, love the Druids, but he does have a pretty good start here. And if we can get maybe a Sniper-Druid combo going, that might be a lifesaver for us. So can we survive round six? Uh, maybe. Let's try him a little bit closer to the top here. I'm also going to throw him on last for a second and see if magically that'll go through more balloons. Ooh, yeah, maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Is he Papa things necessarily uh, kind of good enough? All right, we survived round six. Woo. All right, sniper time. Yes. All right, sniper me up. Kablamo Shazamo. Put him on strong here. And it was a little bit late. Back in my first. Boop, 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 boop. It's really close, but we manage it. All right, two rounds down, and this is probably, again, some of the most difficult parts of the entire game here. Um, the real question is, what do we do now? Uh, real, real, realistically, I would love to get Adora flowing. All right, he's a thousand dollars though, so I don't know if we can survive a full-on druid sniper or thingamajig over here. Um, you know what? I got an idea. What about a double sniper play? I'm using up a lot of my space here to get started, but, but, it's working. Good, good, good. Um, and then, you know what, maybe we can just save up for a door right now. Boop, bop, bibbity. We have we have $900 saved up at this point, but a door is going to cost us $1,000. Okay, back to first for you. Um, also, possibly back to first for you. Let's see. This could be a little bit terrible, but no, 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 we're good! And we get Adora flowing! Okay, so this is, like, not that bad of a start. Just to be honest with you guys, like, I feel pretty comfortable. Um, I don't feel like I, I'm automatically going to win or anything like that, but I think with Adora on the screen, we get so much of a benefit, it's almost absurd. And she's actually very efficiently located for being able to pop the balloons on this side of the map, which is, honestly, probably the hardest part for us. Ah, oh, crap, are you kidding me? Back to first. Let's just go double first. Oh my god, yes. Keep on going. Even round 15 goes down, and that was with Adora only level 2. Honestly, we had a micro, but nothing crazy. And we're able to get a Druid of the Jungle. This guy is a rock star. All right, first of all, infinite range. Tons of popping power. Insta-kills on the strongest balloons in the game. What? What? How can you beat it, man? He's just a good, good tower. Fortunately, I didn't buy any camera detection, so I have to make sure I get that going with the sniper. And I feel like shrapnel shots just not a bad idea here. And yeah, all right, let's just see how long we can last here. I, I still need to pop a Moab in 13 rounds, but I honestly think I might be almost good as far as balloons are concerned, which is just kind of wild to imagine. So camo balloons should be problematic here, but fortunately for us, they're not going to be because I've got a bouncing bullet sniper here. So let's switch this guy to first at this point, and with any bouncing bullet sniper, in my opinion, go for the faster firing, go for the even faster firing. The only thing it doesn't help out against is basically the Moab. Um, and if you're planning on alking these guys, oh, oh, Darn toot and main even faster firing just makes them so much more powerful. So at this point, we've got two infinite range towers just dominating. Look at this. It's around 34. The balloons are barely making it on the screen. 35 here. We've got rainbow balloons coming out. And guess what? 
Rainbows. Shmainbows! Ho <laughs> ho! That feels good. I like, I really like my strategy so far. I've never done this combo before. Or at least I don't usually do this. Have I ne maybe never? I don't know. I don't remember ever doing this combo. So we're going to pretend like we've never done this combo before. Okay, Moab popping power is going to be tricky. And uh, I think I have the answer. I, I think I want to do something really, really weird. I think I want to get a dartling gun. Um, the question is, where do I put them? Now, if I could fit a dartling gun and an alchemist over here, life would be delicious, but I actually don't think I can. So we're just going to say screw it. We're going to pop our, uh, our dartling gun over here, and we're going to go for a, a top path dartling gun. A freaking laser cannon, bro. Why not is the main question. Uh, it's got infinite range. I can give him camo detection, uh, and he can pop rose balloons, which doesn't really matter for us right now. But just the amount of popping power that we need is, is, is exactly what we got. But I'm not going to stop there. I think that the Plasma Accelerator is probably the keyest of key towers for us today. Again, the range is probably the biggest awesome thing for us. Being able to reach across the map over there and actually aim and hit things is going to be sweet. Um, once you get Plasma Accelerator, by the way, it's instantaneous. Like, you don't have to, like, wait for the beams of light to get there. They're just, like, there already. So I think that'll help us out a lot as well with our micro capabilities. Um... And then I have to decide what I want to do after that, because realistically, almost all of our space is already used up, and that that's not fun. So I should mention really quickly that I thought that the Druid the Sniper combo was pretty legit, but I kind of underestimated the Plasma Accelerator uh, Bouncing Bullet Sniper combo as well, because this guy is actually pretty freaking sweet. Um, the only weakness to him is pretty much Camo Purples. And guess what we got with the Sniper? Camo Purple Popping Power! Huh! It's unbelievable. But I did do one thing to myself here, which is kind of upsetting. I locked myself into the fact that I, I need to, uh, uh, micro. Huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Nobody likes microing. But, yeah, we're gonna have to do it for the rest of the game, too. Hmm. Gotta play? We can't just walk away and let the game beat itself? Uh-oh. Camo balloons. Again, plasma accelerator. Doing his job. Delicious. One other thing, really quickly, about this strategy is that... Pretty much all of my towers don't have Moab popping power. Except for one. I mean, check this out. If I don't do anything with my Plasma Accelerator, I mean, the Moab doesn't even get, like, close to dying. But if I use him, it's basically an instantaneous death. Look at this thing. I think any, any, any normal amount of Moabs, probably all the way through to around 80 or so, I think this guy could probably solo the Moab layer in particular. Which is, uh, honestly, uh, kind of absurd. I just never think of him as a tower that's designed to pop Moabs. But that honestly is just what I need to start thinking of, of him as. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Check this out. BFB. Melt, melt, melt. Moabs on the inside. Melt. Look at that beautiful dude. The balloons on the inside get, get killed as well. At this point in the game, we've already got $25,000 saved up. And I have to start thinking about round 63, though. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know if that is going to happen very easily. Ooh, here we go. Our first weakness here. Purple balloons. Plasma Accelerator, still kind of doing an okay job here. Snipers are kind of taking down enough of them. Druid as well, kind of killing a lot of them. And even though they should have been kind of a major issue, they end up not being an issue at all. So I think what I want to do is, uh, you know, just be straight with you guys. Uh, Freaking Spirit of the Forest just sounds like a good tower. Even if he's not a good tower, he just sounds like a good tower. So that's what I'm thinking. I want to see if I can get him going in here so I can buy the fourth tier upgrade, which does double his total uh, popping capabilities here. Honestly, though, it I don't even know if it was actually necessary. We did indeed melt these things again. Plasma Accelerator coming in for the win. Holy crap. Holy. And Adora did not make it to level 10, but it does not seem to matter. I won't even waste her ability here just in case I need it for 64 65. I mean, why waste it if you don't need it? And we keep on chugging along like Thomas the Choo Choo Train. Oh, crap. This is actually kind of problematic. Uh, camo Ceramics are kind of a problem here. Um, no, we're actually able to man manage them. Okay. I thought they were going to be a bigger deal for me because they got so far on the map, but then we just micro really good because we're awesome. And we're currently $7,000 away from a Spirit of the Forest. The only question that I've really got for myself here at this point is, is Spirit of the Forest the right choice? Girl, that's a tough question! Like, I, I, I hate when I question myself because at first I'm like, oh, Spirit of the Forest. Beautiful. Chris, you maniac, you. You're so amazing in every way. And then, like, next second, I'm like, but what if it's the wrong choice? What if you make a huge mistake by buying a Spirit of the Forest and it was garbage? I mean, what are you going to do with this guy? I mean, he's got to pop DVTs. 
Just imagining that just seems insane. I mean, uh, I, I, I could I, I could get pretty. Uh, oh, oh. I just thought of something crazy. I didn't even, this didn't even pop in my brain until this exact moment. But I can indeed sacrifice things. Ooh. With Adora. With Voidora, sacrifice them into the Oblivion. In fact, screw this sniper, man. He's not even uh, doing anything. And now we got more room to work with. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I don't think that I'm like really, really close to dying, but uh, it was my first gut gut uh, instinct here. I'm gonna do it. It's got some pretty good range for what I want. Um, a lot of uh, a little spot of of main vineage with some pretty good amounts of spots of secondary vineage. And just a little bit of third level vineage. I don't really know what the term for that is, but uh, brown vines are the worst vines, if you didn't know. They actually do more damage as they get closer. So, uh, yeah. Any which way, the question at this point is how much money can we uh, save up now to afford something bigger or better? At this point, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait until I lose. I will not be building a single thing until I officially lose, but I do have continues. This is hemp's, not chips. Basically running a no micro strat at this uh, this point in the game, because <laughs> Spirit of the Forest. Look at that. BFP's in the front of the map, dude. Just dead. Uh, unbelievable. I'm very happy with my, my, uh, my tower choice at this point in the game. We will see if it lasts into the 80s or into the 90s, but uh, for now, I'm, I'm a happy man. Very, very happy man. All right, I'm gonna lock him in place. I'm also just gonna, ooh, I already bought it. Okay, good, we got Heart of the Thunder. Um, don't forget, you do need Heart of the Thunder to make sure that you can pop uh, lead balloons. But we still don't have official camo detection on everybody. So I'm gonna have to think about what I wanna do for that, if I can even do anything for that. Um, that is a tricky solution for us. This is a super good combo though. I mean, check this out. I th these are the 80s. I, I've never, I don't think I've ever done this combo either. Uh, and just making this guy pop the Moabs and the BFBs is is awesome. Um, I really don't want to get rid of him, but I think I might have to. I think. I'm still deciding on what I want to get for my DP popping power. And at this point in the game, I can only really think of, of decamoing them. And I can do that either with a pod, but honestly, pod's not going to work that well down here. I could try to do it with some sort of engineer, like, cleansing foam nonsense, but that just sounds stupid. Uh, that doesn't really work very well. Um, or a mortar. And I don't think I could fit a mortar anywhere on the screen unless I sell or sacrifice these two guys at once. So I got to think if I can get another tower that can actually officially be small enough to fit right here, or up here, I guess, uh, and also allow me to pop the DDTs. Just pop them all, all in, in their entirety, because Adora will never be able to hit a single DDT with uh, our current setup here, which is kind of upsetting. Um, I have one idea in mind, but again, it's so wild and so insane that I honestly don't think it's going to happen, but well, let's try it. Okay, I have a feeling this is going to kill us. Like, just a strong feeling. I got 50k saved up, so like, pfft, sounds freaking awesome. But I have a feeling this is still going to wipe us out. I've got to kill fours on my gods, and I struggled against twos on my gods earlier. Um, so I'm, I'm a little afraid. So I'm really trying to focus on the Zoma god layer here uh, and let the Spirit of the Forest kind of clean up all the balloons on the inside. That's all I can really do here. It's doing pretty good. Um, two more Zoma gods left. Now I can start to aim maybe... Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, maybe. Heck yeah, dude. 87 gets destroyed too. That was tough though. That really was a smartness thing, not necessarily just a goodness thing. That was about us doing the right popping power, microing properly, which is not always what Chris does. Sometimes he micros very improperly. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Look at this. Freaking 89, bro. This is a tough one. And I don't... Maybe I do want to use my ability here, because I don't think... Holy crap. DDTs, man. Freaking DDTs! What are we going to do? It's already time. Um... I got no decamo. So... I, I could technically spend a little bit of money on a, a low-level wizard here and just sacrifice it. That's it's a reasonable thing to do. Let's, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Spirit of the Forest plus Plasma Accelerator. Um, does beat round 90, but it will not beat round 93. So I have to do something with my money at this point. The good news is I have a lot of it. Almost 60 grand. So originally my plan was 
freaking mad, bro. Look at this, though. I mean, we're talking over 70 grand easy. It's like 75 grand. I cannot afford that. So we got to stay away from the mad. And the next thing was like, oh, what about a wolf? That would easily destroy the DDTs. But now we're looking at another 65,000 or something like that. The good news is the Phoenix would actually help us out where Hydra Rocket Pods would not. So should I just try to survive round 93 with just a single summon Phoenix and then try to get the wolf for 95? That would be pretty cool. Worst, worst, worst case scenario, we'll have to sacrifice the wizard here. Um, also, keep in mind, you do need to go for the bottom path upgrade now. The Summon Phoenix does not get automatic camera detection, which is an upsetting thing, but it is a thing nonetheless. So, uh, Dragon's Breath Wizard's not exactly great here. How close are we? Ooh, only six grand. Okay, so we just need to beat basically round 93 and we're good. If not, get the money right now. I would also accept that. Don't forget, Adora is doing nothing here for the DDTs, which normally she is a big contributor to the overall DDT popping power for us. Um, unfortunately today, not the case. All right, so there's three Zoma Gods here. Fortunately for us, still taking them down. I am not afraid of any round coming out of the top left. I'm only afraid of rounds coming out of the bottom, uh, the top right. So here we go. Um, let's start off by just doing this. I'm gonna do this right away. I'm also just gonna use our other ability. I wanna aim specifically the DDTs here, which is kind of problematic, but summon Phoenix. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Combo, 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 wombo. Not wombo enough. Okay. So, again, we'll do this. Um, maybe a smidge better micro. Maybe we'll use the Phoenix just a little bit earlier. And uh, we got to try to aim the DDTs, but of course, there's no easy way to just aim DDTs, man. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. We're like a few hundred dollars away from what we need, but we can't get it. I don't think this is actually going to do it, but I want to try. Um, I think this will give us enough money if... Oof, it might not even be enough for our... Eh, I might be spending too much money. Um, alternatively, just getting a carpet of spikes. Uh, I don't really like that idea, though, man. I don't know. I don't know. Ugh, did we just buy a carpet of spikes? Just hope for the best. All right. Uh... I'm going to leave that on the back burner for now. But I will get enough time to get this thing going, which is kind of nice. And that stops the DDTs. Okay. Okay. Uh, might be, I don't want to say full-on luck for 95 if we want to try to get a carpet of spikes. But uh, uh, might be like a smidge of luck involved. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's just see what happens. Let's just wait it out a little bit. I think I could easily use this ability to get it back for around 95. I can actually... Use pretty much any ability I want to get it back for around 95. Uh, and we do make a pretty significant amount of money here. Heck yeah, I mean, look at all this oh my god money we're about to make. Woo! Give me that cash flow, baby. Give me that cash flow. Uh, and we're again a few thousand dollars away from our wizard. The question is can we survive another big round? Round 95 with a spike storm, a phoenix, and uh, stupid garbage beyond that. Uh, probably not, is the answer. Holy crap, that was terrible. All right, let me retry that one more time with a better Spike Storm. I don't really want to use the Phoenix too early, though, but I feel like I just kind of have to. And again, $4,000, man. It's just, like, keeping me on the edge here. You're edging me, Phoenix. You're edging me too hard. Okay, let's start off with a pretty early ball of light. Possibly way too early of a ball of light. Um, Spike Storm and Phoenix... And let's see if we can micro through this magically. I don't think so. There's just way too many DPs, man. There's just there's just no way. There's just no way. So that brings up the question, will Carpet of Spikes magically be enough? I don't think so. Um, I really don't think so. But, yeah, maybe. 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 I mean, that was a big load right there. I mean, everybody loves these big loads. Chug them all over the screen. Chug them all over my face. All right, let's use that ball of light. Let's use that phoenix. This is going good enough, I think. Um, and if I, if all this thing does is pop the DDTs, I mean, that's good enough for me. All right, let's use Adora's other ability here just to help out cleaning up uh, all the rest of the other blooms. And I'm just kind of, like, spraying and praying right now with my, <laughs> with my laser beam here. And it does work! All right, so we're stuck now, though. That's the only problem. We are officially stuck. We cannot go back in time. We have the Carpet of Spikes. He's going to be fan-frickin-tastic for 96. Fantastic for 98. Uh, pretty good against 99, I think, as long as we have the ability ready to go when we actually need it. Uh, and I've got $20,000 saved up already. I will be making more cash flow. 
So, the problem is, can we do anything with that cash flow? Hmm. Maybe. We needed, we kind of needed this guy for the purple popping power on 95, but we don't really need him anymore. So we could sacrifice. We, we could sacrifice. We could get rid of him. But I have no idea what I would even buy. I mean, $20,000 worth of, of what? I have no freaking idea, man. All right, anyways, let's just beat run 97, and then we'll worry about that later. Um, we'll wait until we lose. That'll be the plan. <laughs> we might lose on 97 here with no ability usage. Yeah, I think I can use some abilities here. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's use the Ball of Light right from the get-go. Uh, it's not a crazy amount of damage, but it might get us like exactly what we need. And then we're going to use this Spike Storm as well. Uh, and then I think that should be enough to pop the Zoma Gods. And we're going to try to get these back to use them on round 98, just in case. Just in case. Looks good. Looks handleable. Um, I think we got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free BFB. Oh, they all pop at the same time, though. And... You've got to be kidding me. All right, so 97 is kind of a problem here. I guess we're going kind of all in here at this point. Um, we'll wait on this a little bit longer. Let him get on the screen just a little bit more. And we will be using Adora's other ability here as well. So we're going to go all in on 97, which just seems wild. Because normally 97 is not that big of a deal. And... I will get almost all of my abilities back almost at the beginning of round 98. If not during round 98, no problem. But the question is, can we, we still can't beat it? What is going on with round 97, man? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, this is just I, I just kind of hate this, but we're going to get rid of this stupid sniper. And we're going to get the super sniper. All right, the late game sniper. We're going to go boom, 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 boom. And I think I need the camera detection. So we're going to go like this, shrapnel shot it. Actually, I'm not getting it for the shrapnel shot, though. I was thinking about going for the fast firing. And then I'll put him on strong. And that that should should be enough. Ho ho Freaking hopefully, man. Come on. Let's phoenix this puppy. Let's get this going. Stun him up. Spike storm this crap. And I will also be using Adora's other ability because I just don't want to mess around. I just want things to die. I want it all to die. And this time around. Oh, come on. We can't lose. We can't lose. Couldn't possibly. Woo! All right. 98, baby. So at this point, again, we want to use all of our abilities here, but we want to use them sort of early on in the game, if at all possible, because I want to need, I'm going to need every single ability back before round 99. Um, Adora's abilities don't matter as much, but I do need the Phoenix and the Spike Storm for sure. And it looks like I should get him back in time. Um, in fact, I'm going to try to delay this by not using this guy for a little bit. Let everybody else just slowly kill it. And we get uh, most of our abilities back. Boom. We get the two important ones back. And I, I think we're going to handle this. I, I do. I believe it. I believe in us. So, uh, Phoenix, Spike Storm, kind of early on. Let's use this Ball of Light as well. I'm not even getting perfect micro here, but it looks like there's only nine freaking DDTs. No problem. All we got to do is take down one more round of the Bad Balloon. And I believe in ourselves. And we've got a, we've got a carpet of spikes here. Come on. Uh, we don't have a lot of abilities. the only problem. Kind of wasted them all here, but whoo! Look at that thing. That bad balloon got popped so quickly. And we have done it! We have beaten this stupid pool with only two platforms. And look at that. I do not regret him. I do not regret him one bit. Over a million pops for this uh, druid over here. Delicious. Uh, wow. That actually surprised me. I thought this guy would be my best popper, but he's only got half a mil. Um, uh, 39,000... 233k, kind of makes sense. He's not been around that long. And Voidora, only 91,000. It's a little less than I would have expected here, but it is what it is. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this wonderful, wonderful video, make sure you press that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe. And last thing, and if you're feeling extra generous, make sure you use my creator support code. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.